Hi, today we're going to talk about encumbrances. And I want to start by using the Wikipedia definition of encumbrance for accounting. In management accounting, encumbrance is a management tool used to reflect commitments in the accounting system and attempt to prevent overspending. Encumbrances allow organizations to recognize future commitments of resources prior to an actual expense. Let's see this live in Microsoft Dynamics GP. I'm going to start by looking at summary information for the year 2017 for the travel accounting account. You'll notice there are no transactions, no actual dollars spent. Now in the purchasing series under setup, we'll choose from the drop down here and we'll click on encumbrance management. There are only two things you have to do to set up encumbrance. The first one, you have to make sure this box is marked. The second item is you have to list a budget for each open fiscal year. Now this is a general ledger budget. Even if the budget's zero, a budget has to exist for each open fiscal year so that it'll always have something to compare to. Then you can enter some things like tolerance levels, how much you'll allow over uh, either in dollar or percentage. Let's go ahead and click OK here and let's look at a PO. Now as I pull up this PO, I want you to note that this PO is set up uh, in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2010 Release 2 that uses project, uh, project accounting, and also uses workflow. So you can see this is done in workflow. And this is a particular invoice that has not been submitted for approval yet. So we'll want to keep that in mind as well. We have um, a line item for an airline ticket, and I'm going to drill down on that. And from here, we can actually see that um, it is going to go to this same purchases account, that travel accounting account that we looked up. So we know we haven't spent anything year to date, but we do have this one PO out there for this particular account. And it's just letting us know that uh, one or more line items have an encumbrance status of pre-encumbered or invalid. So let's take a look at the report to see what it says. And we can see that this particular line item has not been approved by workflow yet. So it is going to be in the pre-budget status for encumbrance. So let's go ahead and close this out. And now under inquiry, under encumbrance management, let's go to summary. And here, I already had it pulled up. We can see, uh, we'll choose the budget, uh, ID 2010. So that's the budget we're going to use to compare. And I entered in just the travel account. And here I can see for every period of the budget, I can see what was actually spent. And again, we saw we didn't spend anything. And oh, let's redisplay this because I did update the budget. And there's our $600 for our airline ticket pre-budgeted, remember, because it had not been approved in workflow status. I'm going to highlight it and click on pre-budget, and you can see the actual line item, including the PO number that it came from. And we'll scoot on down here to the budget line, and in uh, February, or period two for the budget, we do have a budget of $1,000. So our variance for the year is um, we have not incurred, we still have $400 left of our budget that can be spent, or 40%. Now typically, not-for-profits will use this uh, in encumbrance package um, because they have to spend their entire budget in some cases. But this is also a great tool for for-profit companies because it allows them to see what is on purchase order status and what they've actually spent so they can stay within their budget lines without going over. Encumbrances are very cool. Hope this helps.